been a little minute since we've done this type of video and I've been ready because I'm gonna be honest it's been extremely hard to find but we did it just for you guys my strange addiction let's get right into it okay we're in, we're in London yeah okay bye Patrice I'm live in London I'm addicted to eating bricks bye Patrice what are you talking about what are you what are you what bricks addicted to eating go say that again. I eat brick it's like a drug to a drug addict you feel good for a while until you need it again. You can just hear her go into town and it just crunch, crunch, crunch. You get like a little cringe feeling and like, you know, when you hear it. You know, but obviously to Patrice, it's heaven. <laughs> I started eating brick in my late teens. I got the idea to do it from my grandma. Yo, for, okay, wait, hold on. Now, I just paused at that crazy. I, wait, are you doing, is this a blood light thing? Talking about bricks in your late teens, unfortunately, there's teenagers that flip them. Might be dealing with some bricks, right? Either using them, whatever. Woman said, nah, I'm gonna eat them. I'm gonna eat her. Okay, no, she's not an eater, I guess. <laughs> I can't say that. My mind just went in the gutter right there because, you know, I'm Peruvian, you feel me? And I, there, there's definitely some people out there in Peru that, that know a, a thing or two about bricks, all right? Let, let's just say that, all right? Who that bad in the UK that this woman got a result to eating bricks? Like, I know you don't, I think like what, salt and pepper is like banned in the UK, which is why you guys can't use it. I think like ketchup is spicy to y'all or something. So I don't blame her, man. I'd probably do the same thing, but let's, let's get, let, I wanna hear what grandma has to do with this. Me that my auntie and uncle, when they were kids, they used to dig the wall and taste it. One day I ended up trying it myself. And I couldn't really stop. In 12 years, Patrice has eaten half a time. This is a family thing. That's equivalent to, okay, why, why? That's equivalent to 8,571 crumpets. Why well, they gotta use crumpets? It's because they're from the UK? Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. Brick from my bedroom, my grandmother's bedroom, and the bathroom. This woman's running out of house soon. She's gonna have no more house. I do to Come from the evidence. Jesus. Do not allow this woman near a construction site. She will demolish that with her mouth. I am so sorry I keep using this vocabulary. <laughs> That's not what I mean. Patrice, I'm sure you're a lovely lady. I mean, uh, uh, besides the brick stuff, I think you're cool. I, I don't mean to do like this. It's made out of raw materials like clay and sand. Ingesting can it can cause intestinal blockage and fracture teeth. But like clay and sand, that's like natural, right? So like technically like she's just eating the earth. I mean the blockage and the fractured teeth thing don't sound too good, but. So far I have no physical problems from eating break and even my teeth are in good condition. I, I, I find it very how? disheartening. A doctor could diagnose her now as perfectly fine, but we don't know what it could do 10, 20 years down the line. Yup. I've eaten not wrong, for bro. 12 years already, so another 12 years won't hurt. I was just gonna say the school system over there is great. You know, the, this this young smart man saying, yo, just because they're saying this don't mean that. And then she goes on and says that 12 years ain't nothing happened, another 12 years won't do nothing. Okay, maybe the school system is messed up over there. Anyways, I got a little surprise. We are rewinding the clock to a different My Strange Addiction, but one that we reacted to already. You're probably asking, why would we react to the old one? No, 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 no. Are they still addicted? My man, I was smelling tuna for fun. Is he still addicted? Let's find out. My name is Tyler. I'm from Lawrence, Kansas, which is the middle of nowhere. Oh, trust it's me, I remember. Farms and country I stuff is very very quiet okay you know it looks very chill and lawrence is very boring boring there's the tuna he's back at it imagine being so bored that you result to just smelling tuna and you just so happen to be addicted to smelling tuna after that that's why oh my god i'm so bored bruh <sighs> God, where have you been? That's literally what I picture him doing. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm crazy. Look at him! Got a coffee for you? Oh shoot, thank you, thank you. Coffee with the tuna? Yo, I've seen, I've seen some combinations. I've seen bacon, egg, and cheeses with the bed, but dog. Come on. I'm gonna start the day, dog. Yeah, yeah. Fish in a small cave. Did he just did he just try to rizz her up? Best way to start the day. The way he looked at hey yo, my boy. They call me Tuna Tyler. 
I hope they don't. Smell them too. For your sake, I hope they don't. Also, definitely like to drink a little bit of the juice. Yep. Right out of the can. Of course, why not? What we I all love tuna juice. Smell is definitely the with the fish. coffee too. Why don't you just put it in the coffee? All tuna will never ever be created equal. I like the tuna in the oil over the water. <laughs> I don't even know what this because is. Because like the oil allows the tuna to stay in between not too dry, but then not too loose and mushy. Bro, what are you talking about? There's an art to tuna now? Bro, raw tuna with the dripping down the I chin. I don't mind the juices run all down my chin. I like it all over myself. Hey, yo, Paul. Nice and dirty. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Are we talking about tuna now? What are we talking about? <laughs> about all right uh tuna tyler let's use a different vocabulary here all right let's relax here i i think i'm starting to realize that probably with like 30 seconds left of the video that he's still addicted to tuna always like fish when he was little and most kids during easter wanted chocolate in their baskets and mom is like not ask for fish don't say that mom so we put tuna cans of mom there's no way i don't i don't believe it bro but i didn't think it would turn into you know to where he was smelling it and keeping it and being addicted to tuna some kids will get candy canes i would get cans of tuna but that'd just be like a little luxury morsel just to put in the luxury of the and having that kid he, oh he's so easy to please you don't even gotta buy toys or anything just buy a kid tuna how much is tuna can tuna like what a dollar i was hoping for my mans to get out of this addiction but you know what I, I think he's fully embraced the whole tuna tyler persona and yeah there's probably no way anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment share subscribe all that fun stuff i'll see you guys all the way back on oh what's today uh, this will be a monday so i'll talk to you guys all the way back on wednesday and peace out everyone